Hello. Today we are going to be learning about the Good Samaritan. And this is a story that we normally do in mid-November in the church calendar, but uh, I thought it was a good time for us to think about it since we have so many hurting and wounded people right now in our country. Our story is found in Luke 10 when an expert of the law was questioning Jesus. On one occasion, an expert in the law stood up to test Jesus. Teacher, he asked, what must I do to inherit eternal life? What is written in the law, he replied. How do you read it? He answered, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. You have answered correctly, Jesus replied. Do this and you will live. But he wanted to justify himself, so he asked Jesus, and who is my neighbor? In reply, Jesus said, a man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho when he fell into the hands of robbers. They stripped him of his clothes, beat him and went away, leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down the same road. And when he saw the man, he passed by on the other side, went on his way. So too a Levite, when he came to the place, he saw him and he passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan as he traveled came to where the man was and when he saw him, he took pity on him right over to him. He went to him and bandaged his wounds. He put pouring on oil and wine. Then he put the man on his own donkey, took him to an inn, and cared for him. The next day, he took out two silver coins and gave them to the innkeeper. Look after him, he said, and when I return, I will reimburse you for any extra expense you may have. Which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of robbers? The expert in the law replied, the one who had mercy on him, and Jesus told him, Go and do likewise. So this is one of my favorite stories. One commentary says that the inn is like the church. And remember, we talked about how the church is like a hospital, but it's a place that has the best medicine and the best physician. And um, actually, in many ways, we're all bruised and wounded, and we all need the healing of the church. So... Um, Hopefully, very soon we'll be back in church again, and we can think about ways that we can help the many people who have been hurt by the virus and other events. And so um, when we come back together, let's try to make it a place of comfort and healing for everyone. Thank you for listening today, and I hope you have a great day.